What's up everybody? Today I'm riding everybody's favorite sidecar, the Ural. Now most people recognize Ural from PUBG, war movies, and the occasional open road spotting. However, Ural's had a thick history starting since the 1940s when they borrowed some technology from BMW to create this workhorse bike to get through impassable Russian roads. They eventually had to move the factory to the Ural Mountains to avoid the German bombers. Today they've had revisions in 2010, 2014, and now the new 2019. For 2019, the motor size did not change from 749 cc's. However, it did get new cylinders and pistons. The cylinders now have extra fins, and the exhaust ports are shortened for better heat dissipation. The motor is now running a complete key-in EFI system, and the exhaust is still a two-in-to-two two with one crossover pipe. The transmission remains a four-speed with one mechanical reverse as well, into a drive shaft into the rear. Giving the Ural its off-road versatility is a steel frame that wraps around the pancake motor. The front forks are leading link style and the rear swing arm is your traditional double-sided. SAC seven-way adjustable shocks are provided on all three corners. The wheels were now manufactured by an Italian company which are much stronger than previous ones and run the same 4.0 by 19 tires. Brakes are provided by Brembo calipers, four piston front, one piston rear, and two piston sidecar. Making the Euro gear up the most interesting sidecar is the fact it has a two-wheel drive setup. If you happen to get stuck off-road, simply push the shaft out and down, engaging the drive shaft to the outer wheel. The offset wheelbase will allow you to gently climb out of wherever you're stuck at. Aside from the two-wheel drive setup, the Euro gear up also comes nicely equipped. A full-size spare fits all three of the other tires and includes a top rack. You have fender guards on front and rear, and Euro is nice enough to throw in a shovel, and a gas caddy. This can also be used for water. Don't mix both, they do request that. While you may think the sidecar is cramped, it's truly not. Let's take this bike out and see how many thumbs up we get as we float the chair and cruise around town. The Euro is a very mechanical machine, and shifting from neutral to the reverse gear will quickly inform you of it. Releasing the clutch lever slightly will help, but sometimes it takes a few love taps to find that perfect spot and click in the gear. That being said, the Euro is very easy to get used to around town, as the lower speeds combined with the shorter gearing provides quicker off-the-line acceleration and less chassis feedback during cornering. The saddle doesn't provide any lumbar support, but the knee bend radius and handlebar reach keeps me in an upright posture I find comfortable for cruising. While not the perfect commuter, the Euro does a good job of it though, with its more than adequate storage space. Even though it's not as light, nimble, or small in comparison to a normal motorcycle, the Euro has enough pep to glide around traffic and get up to highway speeds.
Acceleration on the Ural is far from fast as the 45 crank horsepower motor tries to lug along its 750 pound vessel and rider. Let's face it, we all love the Ural just because it looks cool. It can stand in front of any backdrop, urban, rural, or even random construction sites. There's a term you'll learn as a Ural owner called Ural time. This is the combination of getting somewhere plus the time spent talking about the bike to random strangers. You'll get looks and questions all day long. The three wheeled equivalent of doing a wheelie is floating the chair, taking the right hand corner a little sharper, and the sidecar will actually lift. Not only will you scare your passengers and other motorists, but you'll have a blast doing it as well. One thing the Ural does not lack in is storage. The Ural has a vast amount of lockable storage from the flask pocket embedded in the five gallon fuel tank to the large storage behind the sidecar passenger. There's even a secret stash spot located underneath the sidecar seat. When all else fails, just put it in the sidecar and secure it down ensuring nothing flies out. The key to anything adventuring off-road is to be as utilitarian as possible. The Euro does just that as it's supplied with a large tool roll, spare tire, shovel, water gas jug, and a kickstarter. The Euro does have its downfalls though, and handling is a primary unavoidable concern as the asymmetrical wheelbase rides much different than conventional motorcycles. Much like the country of origin, the Euro does not like quick changes or drastic inputs. Pushing the chassis too hard into a left-hand corner will result in understeer. If the sidecar is heavily loaded, the back wheel on the motorcycle could potentially come up with the sidecar going nose down. Heavily applying the front or rear brake individually will steer the chassis to the left or right. Albite front at lower speeds, raising the bar and having the chair float at a higher speed is a recipe for disaster. Stand down, EJ Potter. The Ural is no drag bike, and keeping up with the pace of traffic can be a chore. The Ural motor and chassis are happy to stay below the 70 mile an hour threshold, but unfortunately in Texas, that's the minimal speed I feel comfortable before becoming a Lapioska. The chassis finds its own groove and prefers to be more of a guidance counselor than a dictator, as it freely floats between pulling towards the right on acceleration and pulling towards the left on deceleration. The Ural is more than just a novelty item to stick in the garage and take out on parade day. It has room for everyday errands, community work, and having fun. The list of negatives might seem a bit heavy as they involve chassis and powertrain. However, the Ural is not built for performance handling or high speeds. The majority of problems related to these things are usually rider invoked errors. So if you're looking for a motorcycle that you can put the wife, the kids, or the dog in and go on an adventure, this just might be the ticket. Thanks for watching everyone and remember, ride fast, take chances and click subscribe.